Oh man, they're like clumped together. You know, it was kind of like that when I put it in there. When I opened the package. It yeah, it's the coconut oil. I was going to say that's probably why it was on sale. No, it's just the coconut oil. It says on the package, uh, may clump. This has like healing mushrooms in it too, so you're healed. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Good. We have some rust water. Love that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel loopy right now. My eyes, I bet my eyes, how poofy are my eyes? I feel so loopy. How poofy are my eyes? <laughs> They're like slits. How poofy are my eyes? Holy cow. I can see it in the, Yeah. <laughs> oh, looks like I got in a fight yeah. with like a bee's nest. This stuff's like rocket fuel. I feel like it's gonna make me poop. It will. <laughs> well. We said we wanted to get rolling on our bikes by 6 o'clock every morning. It's past 6. It's 6.42. It? Oh, perfect. Should we at least put some pants on? <laughs> pants is probably a good idea. <laughs> okay, let's get ready. Get out of here. All right, let's get going. Well, or at least let's pack up. I think I need more water, though. You do. All right. This breeze is beautiful. So nice. All right, we got a decent night's sleep. We feel pretty rested. Yesterday was a pretty abusive day uh, as far as just the way the train was and the GPS was kind of doing us dirty for a little while. So it kind of, it just didn't, it wasn't, it added a lot of time to the ride that we sh shouldn't have been there. So anyways, it's beautiful right now. We'll and be more realistic about what time we want to leave tomorrow. Yeah, we, we said we're going to leave at six. It's nine o'clock. So we're nine o'clock. <laughs> sometimes the rest, Makes more sense than the early rise, so. It takes longer to pack fit everything up than you think it, it does. does too. And we're gonna say goodbye to our beautiful little campground. This place was awesome. It was a little haven, and uh, we're gonna have a great day. It's beautiful though. Let's get riding. If you get on our Ride With GPS profile, there's two options of this whole entire uh, bike packing route. And this is option one that we decided to kind of do at the last minute because you get on this amazing oh. rail trail for like 15 miles. Nikki loves the rail trails. That is such a morale booster right there. Um, so this replaces going on around the other side of this lake that we're gonna come up to that goes along here. And the other way just, it takes the country road um, pretty as well. So either way um, is a great option. But if you love rail trails, meal that's zip for a little while, this is kind of the way I would go. I gotta just get this thing zipped real quick. I couldn't do all the riding. How about this? Huh? This is the prettiest rail trail I've ever seen, and it's so smooth that like, people are rollerblading. 
I want to do that. I'd have to start getting back into it. Yeah. I think the games missed me. The longboard? The girl on the longboard? That, that was, was cool. so fun. Yeah, she looked like she was having a good time. I mean, she's, I <clears throat> wouldn't turn out like that for me, but. Yeah, I, I love rural, you know, gravel roads and stuff like that. And that's what the first option was, but option route one for this, I would recommend this, I think. I, I don't I might even delete the other one in our profile because this is really, really pleasant riding. It's just scenic the whole way. You just get to get in this rhythm and it's beautiful. Uh, having, th this is like my favorite leg of the trip so far, having a blast. All right, let's get, let's get moving again. We're just taking a little breather. Came on this really beautiful, like, like ebbing uh, river. And this guy fly fishing down there. It's just like a really cool spot. The birds, very relaxing uh, section of riding. And I, I got into like a total tr like trance earlier when we were riding through this like conservation area. This thing all of a sudden went from like town, you know, it's kind of town hopping. All of a sudden you're in like, like wilderness like it literally put you into a wilderness frame of mind uh what are you eating well i went with a payday because it's like double the calories of a cliff bar oh nice and i'm sick of cliff bars yep i had seven of those yesterday yeah don't need them don't need any more than that all right you want to uh, finish out this last few miles on this beautiful trail and then we'll Maybe grab some breakfast? I wish it could last forever. Oh, it's amazing. All right. These old depot, train depot buildings are really cool. Look how old these are. Holy cow, that's neat. That is cool. So we just entered into the town of Adams, Mass. It's really cool. It's like an old mill town. Uh, it has a lot of character. We're not going into the actual town, but I just want to, you know, kind of show you the old buildings and stuff real quick. They're pretty neat. And then we just continue on this. Holy cow, look at the view now. It's these big old mill stacks, train, very, very old towns, you know, uh, in this part of the country, just a lot of history really cool stuff but we continue on this and it looks like the view gets even better than it was earlier oh, it's slightly downhill right now 
I know. Really yeah, we were just averaging like 19 mile an hour for a while. Um, but this is just awesome. So cool. So cool. There goes the rail trail. Back to the roads and the dirt roads and the gravel. Pretty. Wow, look at all the pollen in the air. That is nuts. You can't just go to flat rail trail to like 12% grade. <laughs> the roads here are either, either up or they're down and that's it. That's what you get. Holy cow. This is steep. Part of Nikki's soul died when we got off the rail trail. I saw the word end bike and I was like, <laughs> oh cool i love this neighborhood all these old homes this reminds me of being a kid like old school new england really cool this is neat there's like a weird jump back in time this is cool These buildings are awesome. All right, town of North Adams. You wanna go to Ramonto's Pizza? Yeah. All right, we're gonna grab some pizza in this town because it's a good place here to get it. And as I cross the road and try to talk to you guys at the same time, I think we're good. With both ways, good. Yeah, is this place cool? All these old buildings, super, super, like retro nostalgia. Oh, mm. uh, some green things. Vegetables. Vegetables. Amazing. Yeah. It, eggs. Oh, eggs are like my superfood. Yeah, that's that's better. We need some like real food. I don't even have anything in mind that I want to eat right now. But I know That's I need to eat. I stuffed yeah. my leftovers huh, in there. That feed bag looks awfully full. What's in that? I basically an entire cheeseburger because <laughs> I got too full after the salad. But hey, I'm going to love that here in about an hour. <clears throat> this is a cool stop. I love coming to places like this where you can just kind of watch people go through their every day. Everybody's doing something different. They're all just going on about what their, well, what their agenda is. And it's interesting to kind of almost feel like you're removed from that for a bit when you're doing something like this and you're kind of like a watcher and you're not really integrated into it but you get to observe it in a different uh, through like a different lens pretty cool i don't know it's kind of relaxing i love people watching we're a we're an interesting species we are yeah, really. should we get back to this i'm ready all right oh. hey buddy hey nice. sky is starting to chase us there's a storm warning um, in effect and it looks like there's gonna be weather for like the next like three or four days so we're gonna see what happens <laughs> 